As physicists, we've anxiously expected this second for more than a century of all time. Since 1916, this occasion denotes a weighty accomplishment, offering a brief look into one of the universe's generally fascinating and puzzling peculiarities, dark openings. These infinite monsters, known for their huge power, remain amazingly slippery. While they are enormous as far as their gravitational impact, they are almost undetectable to us, making them much more mysterious. One such dark opening, possibly gauging between two to four times the mass of our sun, may be the subject of this revelation. Over the past couple of decades, the exploration committed to dark openings has changed our comprehension, taking us from a position of outright obliviousness to one where we are beginning to get a cozy look at them. And now, things have taken a much more exciting turn, as physicist Michio Kaku has uncovered that we have finally figured out how to look inside a dark opening. This disclosure makes the way for an abundance of new data that could enlighten parts of science that we may have previously neglected. Let us take a deep dive into the domain of dark openings and uncover what exists in them. While space is limitless and immense, the idea of dark openings raises innumerable inquiries. Before we plunge into the particulars of Kaku's astounding discoveries, it's fundamental to understand the key nature of dark openings. Most individuals have a basic understanding of what dark openings are, yet huge gaps in our knowledge still remain. The theory of dark openings traces all the way back to 1916 when Albert Einstein published his general theory of relativity. This theory predicted the presence of dark openings, but at that time, the idea was purely hypothetical. It wasn't until around 50 years later, during the 1960s, that substantial proof for their reality began to surface. Specialists studying the heavenly body known as Cygnus noticed an atypically dazzling blue star radiating X-rays. This star, they found, was not fixed. Instead, it was orbiting a massive dark object. Upon further investigation, it became clear that these X-rays were being drawn into this object, leading to the coining of the term dark opening. This discovery was a monumental turning point because it confirmed that dark openings were not simply a product of Einstein's imagination. They were actual, substantial entities that existed in space. It became obvious that we needed to study them more thoroughly. Researchers from around the world began to focus their exploration on a specific dark opening in the Cygnus group of stars, designated Cygnus X-1, which lies roughly 6,000 light-years away from Earth. This dark opening was around 14 times more massive than the Sun and displayed extreme density, with a gravitational pull so intense that not even light could escape it. This was the defining characteristic of a dark opening, the ability to trap light within its gravitational embrace. The nature of a dark opening is both fascinating and terrifying. A dark opening is a region in space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. Any object that ventures too close to a dark opening is sucked in, and when it crosses a critical boundary, it is lost forever, gone for good. This inherent danger is why it's so crucial to expand our understanding of dark openings. After the discovery of Cygnus X-1, scientists began an extensive search for other dark openings. Estimates now suggest that there may be over 100 million dark openings scattered throughout the Milky Way galaxy. However, due to their nature, these astronomical monsters are incredibly difficult to detect, meaning we don't have an exact count. What is clear, though, is that there could be millions of dark openings within our galaxy, highlighting their significance in cosmic research. The main concern surrounding dark openings revolves around their gravity. Their gravitational pull is so immense that anything that gets too close is slowly compressed to an extreme degree until it becomes a singularity. To put it simply, Dark openings function as enormous vacuum cleaners, pulling everything in with an insatiable force. One of the most disturbing aspects of dark opening exploration is the fact that if someone were to fall into one, they would be stretched into a long, thin shape due to the tidal forces acting on them. This stretching would happen gradually, and the person would die before reaching the final stage of this process. So let's be clear. It's best to avoid falling into one, no matter what. Although the closest dark opening is found about 500 light years away, this still raises questions about the potential dangers they pose to us. In 2021, 
A wonderful achievement was accomplished when researchers successfully captured the first clear picture of a dark opening. This particular dark opening was found in the Galaxy M87. The research team took multiple photos over several nights, and by stitching these images together, they created a comprehensive picture that revealed surprising details. It turns out that a dark opening isn't just a single void as many might think. In fact, a dark opening consists of three distinct layers. The first layer is known as the event horizon. When an object crosses this boundary, there's no turning back. It will inevitably be drawn into the dark opening. The second layer is known as the photon sphere, a region where light itself can be trapped, orbiting around the dark opening. Any light entering this region will become caught by the dark opening's gravitational pull, unable to escape. The final layer is the singularity, where everything that falls into the dark opening is crushed down to an infinitesimally small point. This is where the laws of physics as we know them break down completely, and it's impossible to predict what might happen. What's even more intriguing and unsettling is that no two dark openings are exactly the same. While they all adhere to this three-layer structure, the way they function can vary dramatically from one to the next. Typically, scientists would rely on telescopes to observe celestial objects. But when it comes to dark openings, this method isn't practical, as dark openings are invisible. Instead, scientists can study them indirectly by observing the radiation they emit, along with the surrounding gas and dust. Sending probes to explore dark openings is out of the question, as anything that crosses the event horizon would be drawn into the singularity, where it would be destroyed. Therefore, scientists must study these extraordinary objects through a two-dimensional lens, despite their inherently three-dimensional nature. One theory about the formation of dark openings is that they are the result of collapsing stars. When a star exhausts its fuel, it can never again produce the energy required to balance gravity, prompting a breakdown internal which can eventually make a peculiarity. To further explore the idea of dark openings, NASA researchers turned their concentration to the center of the M87 cosmic system. Here, space experts noticed a huge whirlpool of superheated hydrogen gas turning at an unimaginable speed of 1.2 million miles per hour. The sheer power of this turning gas ought to have made it fly apart, yet it stayed in one piece. Researchers guessed that a gigantic mass at the focal point of the cosmic system, gauging as much as 2 to 3 billion times the mass of the Sun, was maintaining a reasonable level of control. This mass must be made sense of by the presence of a dark opening. Anyway, dark openings may not simply be made by falling stars. In 1963, New Zealand mathematician Royer utilized Einstein's conditions to describe the elements of turning dark openings. Coors' arrangement showed that, as opposed to imploding into a point, a pivoting dark opening would form a dainty circle, a peculiarity known as the ergosphere. The ergosphere is a district encompassing the dark opening where the laws of physical science begin to break down. Kay's answer additionally anticipated the presence of an Einstein-Rosen extension, ordinarily known as a wormhole. This speculative passage would associate two separate areas of space-time, and in a few speculations, it might really connect two equal universes. If one somehow happened to fall into a dark opening, rather than being squashed, they could pass through this wormhole and emerge in a different universe or even at a different moment. To comprehend how a wormhole functions, we must first get a handle on the concept of space-time. As per Einstein's hypothesis of relativity, space and time are interlaced, forming a four-dimensional texture. Objects with mass twist this texture, creating a gravitational field that causes other objects to push toward them. Picture space-time as a piece of paper. If you put two points on it and define a boundary between them, that line represents the way objects take through space-time. If you had the option to fold the paper, you'd create an easy route between the two points, similar to how a wormhole would connect two far-off locales of space-time. Wormholes are not simply sci-fi. They are an immediate forecast of general relativity. However, no one has yet noticed one, and they are intrinsically unsound, likely imploding nearly right away. The potential for wormholes to act as travel pathways through reality has captivated physicists for a long time. While the idea of crossing immense distances in a moment or venturing through time is obviously invigorating, the challenges are considerable. 
Einstein's original hypothesis of relativity predicts that nothing can travel quicker than the speed of light, which puts an absolute limit on the attainability of wormholes, at least with our current understanding of physics. As of late, a specific kind of wormhole known as the CR wormhole, after Royer, has captured the imagination of many. This theoretical wormhole would connect two far-off points in space-time, potentially even connecting different universes or different moments in time. Critics, however, contend that the CR wormhole may be unsound or difficult to cross due to extreme radiation and the powers at the quantum level. A few physicists call attention to the fact that Einstein's conditions, used to describe dark openings and wormholes, do not account for the quantum forces that govern subatomic particles. To truly figure out these peculiarities, another theory that combines quantum mechanics with general relativity is required. Such a theory, known as a theory of everything, could explain how the universe functions at every scale, from the smallest particles to the largest galactic structures. Muku Kaku, a leading theoretical physicist, has been working on this unified theory for many years. One promising candidate is superstring theory, which suggests that all fundamental particles are actually minuscule vibrating strings. In this framework, the universe is viewed as an ensemble, with different particles corresponding to various vibrations of these strings. Superstring theory also provides possible explanations for dark openings, wormholes, and other intriguing peculiarities by demonstrating how strings twist the texture of space-time. Despite its contributions, superstring theory remains highly speculative as it requires extra dimensions of space-time that we can't directly observe. These extra dimensions could be so small that they are actually invisible to us. Some scholars propose that these dimensions were more noticeable at the beginning of the universe, during the Big Bang, and that they collapsed as the universe expanded and cooled. Superstring theory's potential to explain dark openings, wormholes, and the actual texture of the universe remains one of the most exciting frontiers of modern physics. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of space-time, dark openings, and the universe itself, there's no doubt that there is much more to learn and perhaps much more to discover about the true nature of reality. As we stand on the edge of such remarkable revelations, one key realization remains. We are only beginning to scratch the surface. As far as understanding dark openings and their true nature, Muku Kaku's work in the field of string theory and the ideas surrounding quantum gravity have only just begun to offer potential answers. Although we've managed to gain a clearer picture of dark openings through technological advances, such as the Event Horizon Telescope and new methods of indirect observation, much remains beyond our grasp. The frontier of theoretical physics, particularly in the context of dark openings and space-time, is still an incredibly dynamic area of research where much theory and investigation await. Despite their apparent role in influencing the texture of space-time, dark openings have become key to discussions about the origin of the universe itself. As string theory proposes, the impacts of universes could lead to the creation of new ones. Furthermore, dark openings could be central to this process. Such a theory could suggest that our universe might have been born from a collision of two previously existing universes, or perhaps it could even infer that we live inside a dark opening itself, a concept that would certainly flip our understanding of the universe on its head. If this idea holds true, it could challenge everything we think we know about the Big Bang and we could begin to see dark openings not just as destructive forces, but as potentially creative ones, acting as gateways to different realms or parallel universes. While the possibility that dark openings could serve as portals to other universes, or even be the key to understanding time travel is tempting, this idea remains within the realm of theoretical. Hypothesis The mechanics behind wormholes and the ability to travel through them remain a significant mystery. Even if wormholes were stable enough to form, there's the question of whether the extreme radiation and forces near these structures would make them safe. Some physicists hypothesize that if we were to stabilize a wormhole, it could theoretically allow passage through time or between distant points in the universe. However, that remains a distant dream, at least with our current technology and understanding. Also, if we view dark openings from the perspective of quantum mechanics, we are confronted with even more fascinating questions. The behavior of particles at the quantum level is fundamentally different from what we experience at macroscopic scales, and the laws of physics seem to break down completely when we consider objects like dark openings. 
This inconsistency between quantum mechanics and general relativity has been one of the most significant challenges in theoretical physics. Theories like superstring theory offer a possible framework for reconciling these differences by introducing extra dimensions and offering new insights into the nature of gravity. However, this theory has yet to be experimentally verified, and much of its predictions remain untested.